A weaver was bringing cotton to spin yarn. He was sitting on the river bank to rest when a strong storm came. All his cotton flew away in the storm. The weaver panicked. If I reach home without cotton, my wife will be very angry. In panic, he could not think of anything. He thought, I will say this only fur fur. And he kept saying fur fur. Ahead, a bird catcher was catching birds. Hearing the weaver's fur fur, all the birds flew away. The bird catcher got very angry. He shouted at the weaver a lot, you have ruined me. From now on you should say this catch, catch. The weaver kept on repeating loudly, catch, catch. Some thieves were counting money on the way. They got scared on hearing the weavers catch, catch. Then they saw that the weaver was the only one coming. The thieves caught him and staring at him said, What are you saying? Do you intend to get us killed? You should say, keep him, bring lots, understand? The weaver moved forward saying this, keep him, bring lots. When he was passing near the crematorium, the villagers were burning the dead bodies there. Cholera had spread in that village. The people heard the weaver saying, keep him, bring lots. Then they got very angry. They shouted, are you not ashamed? There is so much misery in our village and you are talking like this. You should say this is a matter of great sorrow. The weaver was completely ashamed. He started moving forward repeating this. This is a matter of great sorrow. After some time he passed by a wedding procession. The wedding party members heard him saying, This is a matter of great sorrow. This is a matter of great sorrow. On hearing this, they got ready to beat the weaver. With great difficulty, he clarified and they said, go ahead straight and yes, now you keep on repeating. If it is in your destiny, may you get such happiness. Now the weaver started on his way while repeating this. It became dark while walking. While leaving the house, his wife had told him that wherever it becomes night, sleep there. The weaver was tired too. He slept there. The next day when water fell on his face in the morning, the weaver woke up in a hurry. When he opened his eyes, he could not stop looking. This was his own house. And just now his wife had thrown water on him. The weaver blurted out, If it is in his destiny, may you get such happiness. From this story we learn that whatever the circumstances in life, we should keep our words and behavior balanced according to our mood and circumstances. Julaha falls prey to misunderstandings in various situations due to the frequently changing messages in his nervousness. In the end, he understands the true meaning of the same words that he had spoken repeatedly throughout the journey. This story shows how important it is to understand the uncertainties and changes of life and accept their reality. Friends, if you like the story, do not forget to like and share it with your friends.